There may be 5,000 of us in the UK, but you rarely get to see this number of guide dogs in the same place at the same time. What could possibly go wrong? There you go. I would, I would have stopped the leave, but I've got the boombox. Today I am at Parliament and I'm going to be joined by over 100 other guide dog owners and today we are here to lobby our MPs to enforce the laws that are designed to protect us guide dog owners against access denials. I am meeting with lots of other guide dog owners who, like me, are regularly refused entry to shops, restaurants, taxis, all sorts of places. I am interested to hear the impact that this has on all their lives. When I'm denied, it's like... I'm treated like a second-class citizen. I, I don't necessarily show it outwardly, but inside I'm hurting, I'm embarrassed, and that then turns to anger. That whole idea of the guide dog is crushed in one moment, in one second, by someone saying, no, you can't come in. So the taxi driver has seen a dog, a uh, guide dog with me, and just completely driven off and left me to my own devices. It's very personal. You feel very attacked. You feel very threatened and... Um, it's hard to stay cool. It's a, it's a nasty feeling. I'm going in to meet my MP to make her aware yeah, of just how big a problem this actually is. It was a really positive response, but also because there were so many of us in one place, so many guide owners all there together. We thought it was going to be carnage with so many dogs, but it turned out to be OK in the end. And it was just a really positive experience because we were all there collectively saying that this is happening to us. We met her as individuals, this is what needs to change, this is what's not happening. My MP was very, very keen to speak to us and I spoke to another MP for Southampton as well and both of them are really keen to like support the campaign and they're going to write to the Justice Secretary and do all they can to support and hopefully be successful. <laughs> when you're denied access, you're denied the chance to live a normal life and I think that's what we've proven today because we're all here for a reason and behind the guide dog is a guide dog owner and a person who's got emotions, who's got a life who's got family, who's got friends and who just wants to be able to live a normal life and get on with their life despite their disability.